get ready for six weeks in spring training and you're looking forward for this day. So uh, it was awesome. Uh, you know, I felt great and you know, it was something that I was looking forward to. Did you have any pause at all, Albert, of just sort of taking it in that this is a, a new team, a new city you're opening uh, with as opposed to the rest of your career? Um, you know what? That, that didn't cross my mind. I mean, I've been with this World Cup for uh, six, seven weeks. So, uh, I mean, those stats, uh, they're already gone, you know. Um, it was just uh, something as soon as I show up to spring training and, and even before then, you know, that I made my decision. I knew that, that uh, I was going to be in a different organization and uh, it was time to uh, get ready for spring training and uh, get my work down and uh, try to have a great spring and be ready for the season. So uh, it, it was something, probably in the off season that happened, but now, now in the last two months. <clears throat> It was great. I mean, it's uh, it's awesome. You know, they, they, they were excited. They they couldn't wait. You know, until this day, and so do we either. You know, we we were looking forward to, it and uh, it was uh, great to come up today with the win. We uh, did an unbelievable job uh, out there to to keep us in the game, and uh, we ended up breaking through in the 18. And you know, I'm glad that he got the win. Obviously, Albert, there's a long way to go. It's a long season. <laughs> Uh, but such a powerful offense with such high expectations. Any surprise at all that, that you guys were kind of slow going into this one as far as getting some hits going? You just said it, it's a long season. So uh, I don't think you need to adjust that, adjust that line up by uh, what happened tonight. Just part of the game. Bruce Shane and Crow did a pretty good job, you know, and then uh, Bruce Shane for 16 and Crow strike out the side in the seven. But, uh, you know, it's a long season. I, I think uh, we know what we need to do and uh, just take one day at a time and go out there and, and do our best. And uh, if you look in the mirror every day and, and, and you've done that, there's nothing else you can do. Albert, you faced Jared and now he's your teammate. What distinguishes him, him among, you know, elite pitchers? What is it that makes him tough? I said it earlier. I mean, just the way that he hides the ball, I mean, just, uh, you know, it's amazing. Uh, it's tough. It's almost looked like a, a rising back. Uh, coming out of his hand, you know, uh, because it's so tough. Uh, and he keep you off balance. Uh, he throws you a cutter, sinker, great curve, and uh, a good changeup. You know, and uh, his changeup is probably the best pitch that he has. And uh, he has, uh, he had everything working today for for him. Albert, what you what you think of your at bats, uh, and particularly the against Shen? Great. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I was keep looking at my bat. I was putting good barrel on, and. Uh, that's the way it goes, you know. I, you know, you, you try to put a good swing every every at bat, every pitch, and sometimes you you want to come through, sometimes it doesn't, and uh, that's the way it goes. You know, it's part of the game, and uh, you know it won't be the <laughs> the first time this year that they're gonna go for three either. So it's just something that I think I'm glad that, that we got the win and we got 162, 161 uh, more to go. How about that at bat against Pro? Uh, tough. Um, it's, uh, you you were watching the game just just like I was. So, uh, obviously, I was a little bit closer, but uh, he came up and <laughs> you know he struck out Howie, myself, and, and Hunter. I mean, he made a great pitch, and uh, you know you, you need to give credit to a lot of those guys on the other side. They they they've been building the ball club for the last three years. They have a great bullpen. They got a great starting pitcher, great lineup. But uh, you can't fall asleep against them, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure we need to be ready to play tomorrow because they're going to come ready to play. No, super bien, una, una bonita ceremonia, eh, algo que, tú sabes, uno eh, no, no podía no esperar más. Eh, estábamos siempre hablando la, la última semana. Estamos preparados para salir del, del, del campo de entrenamiento, jugamos los tres juegos con los, de exhibiciones con los Dodgers. Nada, llegó el día de hoy, de verdad que, que una ceremonia bien bonita y gracias a Dios que, que pudimos ganar el juego para los fanáticos. Aldo, tuve que salir del primer juego, pone las cosas en otra perspectiva más tranquilo, entonces como ya salimos de todo el bulto escénico ahora de la prensa, vamos a jugar pelota ahora. Pero que eso es una cosa que yo nunca me he concentrado. Eh, yo siempre me concentro en lo que yo tengo que hacer en mi preparación cada día y no lo que 
eh, la prensa diga o, o, o el personaje fuera de, del terreno diga. Eh, mi, mi, mi concentración es tratar de prepararme cada día y ayudar a esta organización a ganar. ¿Mucho picheo esta noche? Perdón. Mucho picheo esta noche. ¿Cómo así? ¿Y ambos lados mucho picheo? No, no, no tremendo picheo. Eh, hicieron demasiado, tra hicieron un buen trabajo. You know why spring training is a spring training? This is the regular season. Uh, you get yourself ready in spring training. And, uh, obviously, I uh, had a great spring training, but uh, which is good. That's something that you want to take a uh, positive way to the season. But it's a long season. I mean, uh, you know, yes, today I didn't get any hit. Tomorrow I might not get any, but tomorrow I might go for for four. Who knows? But. Uh, You know, just one day at a time every day, and, and that's my goal. Whether it's the spring training, whether it's the regular season, um, you know, I take uh, my job serious. I don't take anything for granted, and uh, try to have good quality bats every day. You know, just uh, every time I'm gonna wear this jersey, you know, I'm gonna be proud and, uh, and knowing that I don't know if it's the last time that I'm gonna be wearing it. You know, you don't know if it, if I'm gonna be alive tomorrow. So I enjoy every day and uh, I don't like to focus in the future. Just try to concentrate and, uh, you know, today, what can I do? And that was getting ready for game one. And tomorrow when I get up to the ballpark about 8.45 or 9 o'clock, watch video and be ready for game two of the season. Scotty. Albert. Sorry. So yeah. many people have been anticipating tonight in your debut. What will, what will you remember most about tonight? The win. <laughs> you know, in a great ceremony, obviously, this is something that uh, you always uh, remember that. Uh, and uh, to close that out with the wine is, is huge, you know, because uh, uh, we had a lot of people that were waiting for this day and we finally arrived and uh, to finish it up and close the night with the, with the wine was awesome. But, uh, you know, we need to flip the page and try to win the series tomorrow. We got uh, two more games left with KC. Albert, aside from the baseball, you know, living in a new city, part of the country, how are you getting acclimated to the new surroundings and, the, and making that adventure? Just, just great, you know, this, uh, the front office uh, helping me out a lot, uh, just telling me, you know, which way, uh, you know, I haven't found a place yet, but really know. <laughs> but uh, it's something that I'm gonna be here, you know, for a long time, so it's, uh, it's no time to rush. Uh, me and my wife know that I think uh, our main focus is uh, to try to get ready for the season. And that's something that, that I don't take for granted. And I know when that time comes come in the perfect place, uh, you know, the perfect time to uh, deal with that. Last three questions. Yes, sir. Okay. Me? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, so. <laughs> OK. Albert, you told us a couple of days ago that your first at bat of the regular season is one of the few times that you're ever really nervous going up to play. I'm just wondering, were the nerves any different? Any more than usual, just your first at bat in Major League One today, walking out there? Um, not really. Uh, obviously, it's the same nerves that go through, uh, you know, for the last uh, 11 years of my career in the big leagues. Uh, it's just something that my dad always told me, if, it, that, if you don't go through that, whether it's when you walk in uh, early to the park and, and get ready and excited for the game, uh, you know, he always told me, you ain't ready. So. I knew I was ready because I was going through that and just, uh, you know, wanted to do something special. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. And uh, we, we got to win. And I think that's the most important thing. Albert, ¿cómo ves la transición de la Liga Nacional a la Liga Americana como de lo que hablaste ahora? ¿Nervios un poquito distinto por ser algo diferente en, en tu carrera? Como te digo, tú, tú, tú tienes que siempre tener un poco de nervios porque es la, la temporada regular y el primer juego. Pero son cosas que siempre te van a pasar y, y de verdad que yo estaba preparado. Eh, como de, haciendo los ajustes a la Liga Americana, yo creo que la misma pelota, eh, lo único es que tú tienes eh, un designado hitter y, y son cosas que... Yo no me preocupo por eso, me preocupo más por hacer mi trabajo y tratar de concentrarme cada día eh, para, para el juego. Albert, ¿qué fue la impresión que te quedaste después de que viste a tus compañeros rally en el 8th? Pretty much it was something that we did in spring training. Uh, I can recall. Uh, 
couple of games or oh, that game against KC where they scored seven runs against us and we came back, you know, and and we battle. Uh, and and that's something that that we done through spring training is something that I that I've been watching this organization uh, doing uh, anytime that I play against them. I mean, it's 27 outs, and uh, obviously you don't give any of bats away. Anything can happen. Uh, it didn't happen. The first seven inning, but it happened in the eighth inning, you know, and that's the way it goes. But uh, I think if you keep pushing yourself and, uh, you know, keep communicating uh, of what the pitcher is doing out there uh, and try to uh, make an adjustment, and, uh, you know, and at the end, hopefully it works. And, and that's what happened in the eighth. But I think it all goes by uh, not giving any air bats away. And that's something that, that I saw for. Uh, Four weeks or five weeks in spring training, every guy from the top of the line all the way to the bottom of the line, you know, make sure we were getting ready for the season and make sure we didn't give any bats away. Last question. Alvin, uh, it's important.